Hi, Skip here. We're going to do this uh, first installment of uh, if you want to get it into acting and also if you're already in and you want to, you know, get rolling on uh, more projects and more roles, I think I may have some help for you um, just because I've done it over the last couple of years and been fairly successful with it. Um, one of the things, because I was doing some acting and some film, TV and things back 25 years ago, and it's such a different animal now with the um, internet, with the wild, wacky web. Um, and it really has become easier for somebody that wants to get into it, just because the resources, just like Google and not going to a library anymore, but just going to good old Uncle Google, the same thing applies for folks that want to get into acting. The resources are absolutely tremendous. Now, some of them are paid subscriptions, like uh, the casting sites, LA Casting Network, San Francisco Casting Network, uh, Backstage, uh, Mandy, um, Actors Access. There's a lot of them out there. Um, and you should just go online and see which ones are the most popular and check reviews. I mean, I don't buy anything online. Um, before I check reviews and find out what people are saying about it because you never trust a salesman. I was one and nobody trusted me. Now, in the acting part though, there are a lot of resources. So I encourage you to go on. Some of those are free and then if you want more specifics, they will make you pay a monthly fee and typically they're anywhere between seven and fourteen dollars a month or you can buy a year and save some money that way. Um, that's a great way to see what's out there. You have a full description of the role, the person they're looking for. Um, when you do subscribe, you put in all of your statistics, you know, all of your measurements, that kind of thing. What age range that you can play. And you got to be real about that. Don't tell them that you're a Hulk Hogan when you're actually a Danny DeVito. <laughs> it's not going to fly that way. Because casting directors are pretty much no nonsense. I mean, they're looking for a product. And uh, as I said before, my background in business development on the sales side, you are your product. And you have to consider yourself that way. You, you can't sell, you know, a Lamborghini to somebody that can only afford a Volkswagen. And you're not going to sell a pink shirt to somebody that only wears black. I mean, you really have to understand what you are, what people are looking for, and find that match. And it's up to you to do that. It used to be agents were the matchmakers. There are still agents out there, and they're powerful, no question. But there are so many avenues now for casting directors to find people, and that includes people that are undiscovered, if you will. Um, but they're out there because of the web. Um, that's, it's the hugest tool, the biggest tool. Hugest isn't a word. Um, and now with the COVID thing, uh, self-taping your audition. I have to tell you, I spend time both in Northern California and Southern California with acting. And I have actually gotten on my motorcycle, living in Santa Cruz, driven all the way to L.A. for a 10-minute audition. And that was it. I didn't have anything else lined up, and I turned around and rode all the way back. It's like a five-hour drive. Now, you could call me stupid. I'm stupid. But, you know, I, I was willing to do that because I actually wanted, it, and it wasn't a huge, huge part either. But I wanted to do it because I wanted to find out, you know, what it was going to take to do that. Well, used to be everybody was called into an audition. There was cattle calls, um, what it was referred to. And people would be lined up for open calls. Today, with online, with casting directors utilizing online, they find people online through those subscription services. Um, also, you can put your name out to, uh, to casting agents and you know go meet with them if they'll take your call. <clears throat> Sometimes that's difficult because there's only about 10,000 people a day that want an agent. Uh, but at the same time, I really called into question the absolute need for an agent. And I have to tell you, until you find a reason you absolutely have to have one, I would say do it yourself. Now, I will tell you that pre previous to the COVID-19, I worked um, diligently for about four and a half months. And I got over 30 parts, and I am not BSing you. And that was all from using five different casting sites, paying some money. I pay today, I pay about 60 bucks a month between all these casting sites. Um, and I keep track of which one got me a job. So at the end of the year, I can look and say, well, that wasn't worth, 
you know, the hundred dollars or whatever I paid for the year. But there's others um, absolutely worth. Now, what kind of stuff? I've done Nissan car commercials. I've done commercials for Carvana. I've done commercials for um, uh, Game Time. You know, the folks that sell the tickets. Now, guess what? That company's going not very strong right now because nobody, there aren't any tickets for sporting events. Um, but also feature films, both as a background artist, you know, an extra, call it background. It sounds a little bit better than extra, but it's an extra. Um, doing that sort of thing, getting bit parts, day player, supporting parts. Um, and I'm really fortunate because, you know, when I say f discover who you are and don't lie about it, I am really fortunate because I can play five or six different roles very well. I mean, obviously, with all of these and this look, I can look like one mean son of a bitch. And I am i don't take any shit. I mean, I'm serious. So I can play that kind of a part. But then with the glasses and with a long sleeve dress shirt and a jacket and a tie. Uh-oh. Sorry about that. Technical. But with, with that look, I can play a CEO. I can play a lawyer. I bought a lab coat. And I'll get into that. Buying costumes, little stuff, a hat, you know, not a tuxedo for a thousand dollars, but everybody's a better actor when they're in it. I mean, go to a room and just pretend you're something versus go to, you know, uh, Harry Potter world at Universal or something like that. And it's like, you're immersed in it. If you immerse yourself in that character, whether it be costumes or environment, or in your head, it makes you a better actor. It makes you play that part. So what I'm saying is starting out, what I did was I recorded just like this with an iPhone or a pad or whatever you've got. Um, think of a character that just is natural for you. And whether you improv it or you write out a monologue, play it one minute. That's all you need. And you play it. That's exactly what I did. I played a boss because I have been a boss and I've fired people. So I was, I did it. It was like, this isn't a good fit. I, you know, I really appreciate your, your uh, input and your contribution to the company, but I'm feeling like this isn't really a great fit. And for that reason, we're probably going to have to make some changes. Something like that. That was a, a boss kindly firing somebody. Um, I already showed you the motorcycle, you know, or mob guy. So figure out what you can play in the age range that age range that you're believable. You've got to hone in on those before you go any further, because if you try and sell something you're not, you're not going to be successful. Not even. Once you do that, you create some of these self tapes for different characters. Get yourself some software. It's not expensive, so you can edit, put it together, even drop along the bottom, which I will do with this. Um, your name and your you know email address. You do need to be on Instagram and Facebook. Um, I'm not so sure about Twitter. Instagram is huge right now within talent, and that's what you are, your talent. Um, so to have those things represent you. Um, so that's how you kind of get started. I would say check the internet for those casting sites. I'd say decide on what characters you want to do. Get yourself a good camera or if your iPhone or your iPad or whatever your device is, it has a good camera on it. Get a room or an area where you can light from both sides yourself up with not too busy of a background so it highlights you. Get about this far away so you're right about below armpit level to just over the top of your head and frame it that way and play around with it um, and get some folks to help you that, you know, if they, they uh, can and, and give you some suggestions. But that's like step one. And in the future, what I'm going to do is talk a little bit about uh, getting into those um, those casting say, how do you respond to that? What do you write in the notes to the casting director along with your pictures, your headshots, and whatever reels you have? Because as you do get some jobs, you will then get some videos. And I'll show you how to put those together as a reel. And that's kind of your sample. I mean, it's just like a product where you let somebody taste it, let somebody see it. You show them what it does. And then they can decide, oh, that's kind of interesting. Maybe we should talk some more. And then you get an interview over Skype or 
um, Zoom or whatever it happens to be. So hopefully that helps. I'm going to do these, you know, maybe once a week, but I'll try and add on them and, uh, you know, tell anybody that you know if they're looking to get into it or maybe they want to get some new ideas. I'd love to have your thoughts too and comments. All right. Thanks again, Skip Howland. And uh, till next time, be well, be safe.